This is your Wall Street wake up call. Stocks are on the rise for the fourth week in a row. I'm joined now by Alistair McCaig, a market analyst with IG in London. So, Alistair, are these gains sustainable? Uh, well, uh, I think certainly in the short term, uh, the markets have taken an encouragement, I guess, from some of the data that's come out of China and the reaction that we saw there. Um, and I guess um, the, the dearth of economic data uh, or corporate data that uh, Europe are having to absorb today has given the bulls the ability to uh, take the upper hand. Uh, that being said, there is a lot of uh, major talking heads that we're going to be hearing from over the course of this week. Uh, the UK budget, also uh, hearing from the FOMC in regards to US interest rates. Um, and all of this should to give uh, uh, traders certainly plenty to digest and I get a, guess a, a greater sense of direction as to how much optimism and enthusiasm there should be in the market. Yeah, and how much of the rally is driven by the easy money policies from the ECB that were just announced last week and of course the expectation that the Fed won't raise rates this week? Yeah, the, uh, the tail end of last week did very much feel like European traders, if no one else, um, had maybe gone with the, uh, the fact that uh, so much stimulus um, and surprisingly more than expected uh, coming out of the uh, European Central Bank was maybe a reflection of how worried they were, were about the, the situation uh, rather than taken at face value as to the, the, the benefits that the markets would have. An extra 20 billion euros being pumped into the market and even more directly with the fact that they've now included corporate debt as part of the basket of uh, products that they can invest into um, has certainly been uh, uh, digested over the, the course of the weekend and I think um, uh, traders are a little bit more positive about the, the, the benefits that they're going to feel uh, in the equity markets on the back of that and factored it in a little bit more wholeheartedly on Monday morning. But still the volatility in January and parts of February is still fresh in investors' mind. What can the Federal Reserve say in its statement on Wednesday to keep investors calm? Well, I, I guess there'll be a, a question marks over what the current thinking is as far as their timeline of interest rate rises are concerned. I mean, uh, the markets at this point in time basically factoring in about a 4% chance of a, a March interest rate rise from the FOMC, so almost uh, negating it completely. Um, that being said, I think uh, June is still very much a possibility. Um, and I guess um, the, the economic data that's come out of the U.S. has been encouraging. Uh, that being said, last time we heard a major statement out from the FOMC, a lot of the focus was not actually on the U.S. economy, uh, but more appropriately it was focused on Asia and many of the, uh, the other um, uh, emerging markets and the, the inability of those right. uh, economic regions uh, to, uh, to show real signs of recovery. All right, and quickly, I mean, where do you see stocks going? Can we stay sort of above 2,000 in the S&P 500? I think the economic data and the, the announcements out of central banks and the stimulus packages are going to have to be uh, re maintained at this uh, positive uh, stance in order to keep equities in this uh, relatively exuberant mind frame. All right, Alistair McCaig, a market analyst with IG in London. Alistair, thanks for your time. Thank you. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.